Connacht Fla is coming to Sligo. The most complete programme of traditional music Sligo has hosted in almost a decade. The Fla in Sligo was amazing. Thousands of people on the streets and music everywhere. With the Connacht Fla, you'll get a flavour of that with some great live concerts outdoor as well as a whole lot more. You know, after a few years without live music, there's really no better way to kick off the summer. Last year, Sligo played host to Flafest, a virtual Fla Hjoel. And now, a year on, in-person festivals are back, with a little of something for everyone. The gig rig will be centre stage during the Connacht Fla. It will give an opportunity to musicians to play in front of a live audience for the first time in so long, which is something they have so missed. And it will also feature a host of local artists and bands who are well known all over the world. The Connacht Fla will also offer an eclectic mix of Irish artists. Among the many acts playing will be rock favourites Hothouse Flowers, a band with deep links with our traditions, culture and with Sligo. Michael Coleman was probably the first pin-up fiddle player, if you like. Like he was the guy who was recorded so that people heard this maestro who went to America and, and perfected a style that, that was able to shine in a such a way that it drew the attention of people who maybe weren't au fait with that style of music. From trad tunes to folk songs, exhibitions to lectures, this is a Connacht Fla that offers a wide range of events. But perhaps its most important component of all are the competitions, and qualification for Fla Hjol na Heron is on the line. The Alarning Fla takes place in Mullingar in August. Having come through their county flas, now through to the Connacht Fla, uh, this is make or break time for hundreds of musicians across a range of instruments over two full days of competitions. The broad programme of events that will be open to the public will focus on subjects like legendary fiddle player Ben Lennon, Sligo composer Josie McDermott, music from the Atlantic Fringe with the Unwanted, and the ancient archaeology of Sligo's landscape, traditions, customs and history. The lecture I'm involved in describes how thousands of people emigrated through the port of Sligo to escape poverty and hunger. From the 18th century all the way up to the famine and afterwards, this area would have been teeming with ships and people all heading away in search of a better life. Visitors to the Connacht Fla will also have plenty of time to take in the sights and sounds of our unique county. With woodland walks and seaside trails never more than a few minutes away. Sligo is on the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, there is so much to do and to see here that people return time and time again. We are really looking forward to people visiting Sligo for the Connacht Fla and we do hope that they get time to spend out and about enjoying all of what Sligo has to offer. So book your tickets and come join us for the Connacht Fla in Sligo at the end of June. It promises to be an event that will encourage musicians and fans to celebrate with hope and positivity. Well, who knows what to expect of a Hot House Flowers gig anymore. But there'll be rock and roll music, there'll be traditional music, there'll be old songs, there'll be new songs, and there might even be a song or two made up on the spot. To book tickets or find out more about the programme of events, visit connectfla.ie. Thank you.